welcome to Adam and Friends. Adam and Friends. Adam and Friends. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Beep, beep. Beep, beep, beep. Adam and Friends. Adam and Friends. Adam and Friends. Okay, um, welcome to Ethan and Friends. I'm your host, Ethan. And, um, today is Monday, August 6th, 2012. So, um, what are we gonna talk about today? Let's talk about. What are we talk? What are we gonna talk about today? Let's see. Oh, I have an idea. How about today, I'll just. I'll just choose. What I'm talking about, me, and um, and then, um, and then, on every other episode, um, episode before the latest episode, um, have a comment telling us, um, write a comment on this video, but. You want to talk about tomorrow on the next episode. So, yeah. So, today we're going to talk about MGM Lines. The history of MGM Lines. So, um, leave a comment and tell me who your favorite MGM Lion is. And whoever it is, you might. You, you might see it on an episode of Ethan and Friends. Cause if it's Kofi, if it's Kofi, you've already seen it in this episode. But just black and white. So, yeah. So, the first MGM line. The first MGM line. Goldwyn. Goldwyn Pictures. Number one. The first. 1916 to 1923. Um. Yeah, um. All I have to say about this guy is he doesn't war. Um, may maybe um they're not he's not supposed to war because of the script, or he could war if he want, but he didn't because of his silent. Um, maybe that's why he didn't war. I don't know. Um, yeah. Um, so. Goldwyn number one. He's my favorite silent MGM lion. The one that doesn't work. So, Goldwyn number two. Goldwyn pictures number two. Mm. Well, you know, when, if you think that Goldwyn number two doesn't work either, well, he actually does, but he just can't hear it. Because he's one of the ones in the silent era of MGM line. So, yeah. So, yeah. And, um, Slats. Slats, 1924. If you think he wars, he doesn't. Which, many, which, I think you don't. And, um, so, yeah, Slats. Slats, yeah, he, he doesn't war, but, he doesn't war, but, um, um, he doesn't war, but, he is pretty cool lion, he is a pretty cool lion, yeah, so, 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 yeah, um, and the next one is Jack, 1925 to 1928, and, um, so, um, Jackie has been an MGM line, um, like, yeah, he has more than one logo. He was the first MGM line ever to have more than one logo. He's special. Yeah, Jackie's special. Because, and he might be the only one ever to have a black and white logo, a sepia tone logo, and a color logo. 
That's amazing. Even Leo doesn't doesn't have um all those. So um yeah um yeah Jackie nineteen twenty five to nineteen twenty eight was black. This nineteen twenty five to nineteen twenty eight black and white. And um he is my favorite black and white one that does war. Telly, well there is. One logo where he doesn't war, but the rest he does. Um, I don't know why, but maybe that's what just the script says, or the one where he doesn't war is silent. But, <clears throat> yeah. So, my favorite, if I had to tell you what my favorite telly logo, it would be the 1928 one. That is a good telly logo. So, um, yeah, the telly logo... 1928 is my favorite telly logo. Um, and the next line is Kofi. 1932 to 1935. So, um. <coughs> and, um, he's one of my favorites too. And he's really special. See, he's the first one ever to have a color. Besides Tony, besides Tony, besides Tony, he's actually the second one too. But Tony is kind of special because he is actually the first one, but Kofi's the second one. So <coughs> yeah, <coughs> yeah. Um, and um, yeah. If your favorite, like I said before, your favorite MGM line is Kofi. You have seen him. On the side bed. And the next line we're talking about is Tanner. Tanner, um. I gotta admit, Tanner's one of my favorite MGM lines. Yeah, and I think I. When I watch an MGM. Um. Movie, I think I usually see either Leo or Tanner. Yeah, those are. Two pretty good MGM lines. So, yeah, Tainer. Um, <coughs> Tainer is kind of special because he was the first one to ever, 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 like, okay, like, when the MGM logo um, got a little shorter in 1953, Tainer was the MGM line when that happened, so that makes him special. Just like Jackie. And, and, um, now George, um, I don't think, some of you might not have heard of George, but, but he's not as cool as all the others, and he's only been in MGM for, like, a year, he's not very cool, but, um, yeah, not very special, well, he is a little special, because he's the only MGM line to ever have his background, Blue. And um, the last line, Leo. Leo, 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 Leo. The current MGM line. He's had numerous logos. He's had one with. He's had some with. Like, with the. <coughs> with the. Like, you know. Whatever you call it, where they surround the line gray. And they've had where this thing sounded the the where the line surrounded by is um um like maybe gold ish orange or something like that and they even had one where that little red face like the one you see in every bottom of the MGM logo was yellow. I mean like that would be very rare if you saw that red face goes on the bottom of every single MGM logo, actually yellow, that'd be very weird, and, um, stuff like that, so, yeah, leave a comment on who's your favorite MGM lion is, and you, you will, you will see it on the August 26th edition of Ethan and Friends, and, I know I might get more than one comment, but, um, if you like, but, this is the, 
I'm going to say this on every single other video. Remember this. If you are thinking about posting a bad comment on this video or any other Ethan and Friends episode, as soon as I see it, I'll just delete it. So, have a good time, take care, say no to drugs, and smash that like button, subscribe to me, and check out all my other videos, take care, say no to drugs. BAM!